We're going to begin with a good health alert. A local family affected by the measles outbreak is speaking out about it tonight. And they have a message they want everyone to hear. Let's get over to Dr. Frank McGeorge right off the top here at five because a lot of people are going to be surprised to learn this family is vaccinated against the measles. Exactly, Karen and Devin. Yeah, you know, the Cohen family lives in Oak Park. The father of the family, 23-year-old Avi Cohen, is one of the 22 people confirmed to have the measles. Now, it caught everyone by surprise because Avi received both of his MMR vaccines as a child on schedule. In fact, he gave us his vaccine records. We spoke to Avi's wife, Debbie, by phone. Um, so I first got a little bit alarmed because someone who was confirmed had been um, around my son. I took him um, to the doctor. I did not go inside. I called them before and they came out to my car to swab him. Her two and a half year old son tested negative for measles, but her husband Avi began to develop a cough and runny nose. He had no idea it was measles. It was, you know, it seemed like flu symptoms or, you know, something like that. But then the headache came and I got really scared. I took him to the emergency room. Um, in Beaumont Hospital. The discharge papers from Beaumont Hospital say Avi had an upper respiratory infection. But on Friday... My husband calls me and says I have a rash all over my body. It was later confirmed Avi had the measles. I was especially scared for my baby who has obviously not been vaccinated because he's too young to be vaccinated. The family doesn't know where Avi was exposed and strongly stressed they do not blame anyone. My husband did get an extremely um, severe case, and I would never want to wish that on my worst enemy. He felt like his body was literally being burnt, you know, just burnt alive. Debbie says their religious community encourages vaccination. For the most part, everybody does vaccinate. Um, schools endorse vaccination. Uh, synagogues endorse vaccination. There are, you know, select few that don't vaccinate like in any other community. The vaccine is effective for most people, which is why, you know, it's not spreading to everybody. But she urges everyone to be on guard for symptoms and consider limiting how many public places you visit. My husband does prove that even though you do have the two vaccines, um, there's a chance that you could get it. Now, Debbie says Avi is doing much better. Everyone else in their family has tested negative, but they are watching closely for any signs or symptoms. So does this seem to be a case then where the vaccine just didn't work? Well, you know, if you get both um, vaccinations, mm -hmm. it's about 97% effective. So, yeah, Avi may actually be in that 3%. For 3%. Wow. Right. And actually, you know, there's been some estimates that 1 in 10 adults may have a decrease in their vaccine effectiveness. So this is just a reminder that everyone needs to be more aware of the measles right now. Yeah. Yeah. Most definitely. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Doc. Sure.